Hey everybody, it's 11.2, Day 2, Volume of Prisms. Let's get started. Alright, let's start with the volume of rectangular prisms. Remember, our volume is length volume is length times width times height. So if we get started with our first one, so the volume is uh, 18 times 5 times 8, which will give us an answer of 700 Oops. 20 millimeters cubed. Find the volume of the rectangular prism. So our volume would be length times width times height. So 2 times 6 times 8. We put that in our calculator and we're going to get 96 inches cubed. All right, the volume of a rectangular prism is 352 inches cubed. The length of the prism is 11, and the height is 8 inches. What is the width? <clears throat> so our volume equals length times width times height. So we know our volume is 352 equals our length of 11. We need to find our width times our height of 8. So I'm going to multiply 8 times 11, which will give me 88. So 352 equals 88W. We divide by 88 to both sides. And our width is 4. Alright guys, awesome job. Let's do some more. So our next one we're going to review is rectangular triangular prisms. Remember the formula is <clears throat> volume is capital B times H. Our base of our shape, which is a triangle, times the height. So if we look here, our base is this right triangle. Alright? So remember in a right triangle, area <clears throat> of our triangle is our legs. So we'll start with our base which is one half, eight times fifteen. We put that in our calculator and our base would be sixty. Now remember our volume is capital B times H, our height of our three of our triangular prism. So our volume is our base. We just found 60 times the height, which is 3. So 60 times 3, our volume will be 180 feet cubed. Now, if we look here in our right triangular prism, we have our hypotenuse, which is 10, but we do not have our other leg. Alright, so we need to find that first, and then we can find the base, our triangle, our triangle, and then we will do our formula for volume. So I'm going to do Pythagorean theorem to find our other leg. So x squared plus 6 squared equals 10 squared. x squared plus 36 equals 100. We subtract 36 to both sides x squared equals 64. We take the square root to both sides and x will equal 8. 8 is my leg. So I'm going to start with capital B. So I'm going to do um, area of a triangle, so 1 half base times height, 6 times 8, which will give us a base of 24. Now volume is capital B times H. We know what our base is, which is 24. We're going to times it by the height of our triangular prism, which is 2. When we do that, we're going to get 48 meters cubed. The volume of the triangular prism below, here's our triangular prism. So we'll start with our base. Our base is one half uh, base times height, six times four. Okay, actually, I'm going to erase that because it looks kind of funny. So I'm going to fix that six times four. 
1 half 6 times 4, our base is 12. So now we're going to do our volume. Volume equals capital B times H. We know what our base is, which is 12. We're going to times it by 17, our height of our triangular prism. So our volume is 204 meters cubed. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. All right, now you're going to do some practice. So at this time, if you can please answer 7, 8, and then our little shape off to the side, if you can get those. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. All right, welcome back, you guys. Let's get started. All right, so our first shape is a cube. So all three dimensions are the same. So what we can do, instead of doing 7.7 .7 times 7.7 .7 times 7.7, .7, we can do 7.7 .7 cubed. Remember, we're going to be rounding to the nearest tenth, so we're going to get 456.6 feet cubed. In our next example, we are going to we're going to multiply. Remember, volume is length times width times height, so we're going to do 2.1 times 2.1 times 32. We multiply all three together, and our volume is 140.8 feet cubed. Again, <clears throat> our next example has all three sides the same, so it's a cube. So we can take and do our volume as 6.2 cubed. When we do that, we'll get a volume of 238.1 feet cubed. Awesome job, you guys. Keep it up. In our practice, number 10, we're going to first find now, remember to do our area. We need to do the area of our base, so we'll start with that. So one base is one half, base times height, so remember our legs in a right triangle forms our base and height, so 9 times 14. We will get a, our area of our base is 63. Now we will do the volume. Remember, volume is our base of our shape times the height of our three of triangular prism. So we know that's 63 times. Now the height, 16.6 .6 is the hypotenuse of our right triangle. It is not the height of our triangular prism, which is 11.8. We multiply those together. And our volume is 743.43, sorry, 0.4 feet cubed. Awesome job, you guys. We'll start with our triangle and our triangular prism, which is our base. So capital B. So we can find the area. Now, our in this one, it's different than, it's not a right triangle. So we're looking for our height and our base. Our height, so we're going to do, hold on, 1 half times base of 6 times our height of 10.4. When we put that in our calculator, we'll get our base as 31.2. So, remember our volume is capital B times H. Now, we know what our base, our, tri our right triangle is, which is 31.2. We're going to times it by the height. Now, 12 is a side length. That is the side of the triangle, not the height of our triangular prism. That is 13.9. We're going to multiply those together, and our volume is 433.7. Awesome job, you guys. Let's keep it up. All right, let's do some tri um, cylinder practice before you do some practice on your own. 
Remember the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So I'm just going to kind of put that over here, pi r squared h. That is the formula. Now if we look here in our first example, we do have a radius, which is going halfway. So I'm going to do volume equals 3 squared times pi times 7. We get volume equals 63 pi. We multiply that together, and the volume is 197.9 centimeters cubed. In our next example, we need to start by finding our radius. We have a diameter because it's going all the way across. So we're going to do 10 divided by 2, which would be 5. So our volume is 5 squared times pi times our height, which is 25. So we'll get a volume of 625 pi. We'll put in our calculator, and our volume is 193.5 millimeters cubed. We will not do the next example, so we will proceed on. Now in these examples, please use 3.14 for pi. I will be using the pi symbol when I go over the examples, but please use 3.14. So if you can please do 7 through 9 at this current time, 7 through 9, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. We'll start by taking our diameter and dividing it by 2, so 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So our volume is 8 squared times pi, which we're using 3.14, times 39. We put that in our calculator, we'll get our volume is 2,496 pi, which we will get an answer of, when we simplify it, 7,837.4 feet cubed. In number 8, we would want to take our diameter and divide by 2, so 7.8 divided by 2, which is 3.9. So we're going to do volume equals 3.9 squared times pi times 3.4, which is our height of our cylinder. We put in our calculator, we'll get 18.6 pi. When we multiply 18.6 by 3.14, we'll get 58.4 feet cubed. In our last example, we do have a radius. It is going halfway, so I'm going to do volume equals our radius squared, 21 squared, times pi times 29. So when we multiply that together, we'll get 1,000, actually 12,789 pi. When we put it, all of it in our calculator, we'll get 40,157 Point five feet cubed. All right, now it's time for you to practice 10, 11, and 12. And when you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back. Starting with number 10, let's see how well you did. We've got a diameter, so we need to take 8.6 divided by 2, which will give us 4.3. So for our volume, we're going to get 4.3 squared times pi times 21.9. We'll get 404.9 times pi. When we put in our calculator, we take 404.9 times it by 3.14. 
we'll get 1,271.4 feet cubed. In our next example, number 11, we do have a diameter, so we need to take that and divide it by 2. So we're going to take 14.8 divided by 2, which will give us 7.4. So for our volume, we're going to get 7.4 squared times pi times 26.7. We'll get a volume of 1,462.1 pi. We times 1,462.1 pi, and we will get 4,591 feet cubed. In our last example, we do have a radius, so we're going to say volume, so we do not have to divide this one by 2, times 11.8 squared times pi times 15.7. We'll get 2,200 pi. We multiply 2,200 by 3.14. We'll get a volume of 6,908 feet cubed. Awesome job, you guys. All right, so I'm going to start by doing 9 and 10 with you. So what's slightly different about this is I'm going to give you the volume. You're going to need to find a side. And then you'll do some to practice with. All right. In our first example, we have the volume of a cylinder, which is 54 pi feet cubed. What is the height? So remember, our formula is volume equals pi r squared h. We do have the volume, which is 54 pi. We do have the radius, so I'm going to say 6 squared pi h. I did move the um, pi over, and that's okay. 6 squared is a 36, so 54 pi equals 36 pi h. Now, I want to get h by itself, so I'm going to do something in one full step, which is I'm going to divide 36 pi to both sides. What will happen is this 36 pi will go away and you get h. But here, my pi will completely go away. So all I'm doing is dividing fifty-four by thirty-six. So I'm gonna say fifty-four divided by thirty-six, which will give me one point five. In my next example, remember that we, the volume of a rectangular prism is 5,100 inches cubed. What is the height of the prism? So here, remember that volume equals length times width times height. We are, and I'll erase that, we are given our volume, which is 5,100 equals length times width times height, so we're going to do 15 times 17 times my height. So my the 15 and 17, I'll put them as length and width. We multiply that together. We're going to take 1,100. We have 255. H, we divide 255 to both sides, and H will equal 20. All right, guys. All right, let's go over 11 and 12. All right, the volume of a prism is 22.5. What is the height of the prism? All right, we have a triangular prism. So remember, our volume is capital B times H, 
we know what our base is, which is our triangle. We have both eggs, so the volume is 22.5 equals 1 half, 3 times 5, h. We're going to do 1 half of 3 times 5, which is 7.5. h, we divide by 7.5 to both sides. And h will equal 3. In our next example, the volume of the prism is 94.6. What is the height of the prism? All right, we have a trapezoid. So remember that our volume, our base is our trapezoid. So 1 half b1 plus b2. So we're going to do volume, always remember, is capital B times H for prisms. So volume equals 1 half our height, which is 4.3, times 3 plus 8, those are our bases, times the height of my prism, not the height of my um, trapezoid. I put that in my calculator, 1 half times 4.3 times 3 plus uh, 8. What I'm going to get is, I'm going to get 94, I forgot to put my volume, uh, 94.6 is my volume, so 1 half 4.3 plus times 3 plus 8 is 23.65 H. I divide both sides by 23.65, and my height will be 4. Alright guys, if you guys can practice doing 13 and 14, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. A cylinder has a volume of 1,296 pi uh, feet cubed. The height of the cylinder is 16. What is the length of the radius? Remember, volume is pi r squared h. All right, we already know that we have 1,296 1, equals. I'm going to kind of move my radius over, so I'm going to say radius squared pi. We know what the height is, which is 16. All right. I'm going to div I want to get radius squared by itself. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 16 pi. Oops, I forgot my pi for that also. What will happen is my pi's will go away and I'm left with radius squared. So my 16 pi times divided by 16 pi, I'm le that gets me to radius squared. When I divide 1009 296 pi by 16 pi, my pi's go away, and I'm really going to divide 1,296 by 16, which will give me 81. Because I want my radius by itself, I have to take the square root to both sides, and my radius is 9. All right, great job, you guys. Let's keep it up. A rectangular prism has a volume of 135 inches cubed. If the base is 1.5 and the height of the prism is 15, what is the width of the base? So when we look at this, remember volume is length times width times height. So we already know it's 135 equals. So we're going to take 1.5 times it by 15 and times it by our height. Uh, finding our width. I'm just kind of moving things around. When we do that, we're going to get 22.5. So 135 equals 22.5 W. We're going to divide that by both sides to get W by itself. 
and my width is 6. Awesome job, you guys. All right, so what I'm going to have you guys do is practice the last four examples, and when you're ready, please unpause the video. Welcome back, you guys. Let's see how you did. All right, volume of a cube is 216 meters cubed. Find the length of the sides. So remember that if we have all three sides the same, we can say side cubed. So um, we already know what the volume is, which is 216 equals sides cubed. We're going to take the cube root to both sides because what what times itself three times equals 216 and that would be six all right find the volume of a cylinder with a radius of four and a height of 5.6 inches so volume equals pi r squared h uh, we do not know the volume but we are going to take pi times our radius, which is 4, times our height, which is 5.6. So our volume is 89.6 pi. Now we're going to use 3.14 for pi, which will give us 281.34. Alright guys, keep it up. Let's see how you did with our last two. All right, the rectangular prism has a volume of 840 meters squared. Find the length. It should be cubed. It should be a volume of 840 meters cubed. Very apologetic of that. Find the length of 10 meters and the width of 7 meters and find the height of the prism. So volume equals length times width times height. We know what the the volume is was just 840. Now, my length and width is 10 and 7, and we're going to find our height. I'm going to multiply 10 and 7, which is 70. I need to get h alone, so I'm going to divide by 70 to both sides. And my height is 12. The volume of a cylinder is 1,244.07. 1, if the radius is 6, find the height. Alright, so we already know what the volume is. So remember, volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. We know what the volume is, which is 1,244.07 equals 6 squared times 3.14 times our height. Now we're going to get 36 times 3.14 which will give us 113.04 H. We're going to divide that um, to so we're going to take 113.04 and divide it to both sides. And we'll get a height of 11. Alright guys, this is the end of our video. Um, please rewatch it as many times needed. You do have an assignment online to complete. If you have any questions and concerns, please email me. Stay safe. And have a good day. Bye-bye.